This is the face of a survivor who beat breast cancer. But surviving wasn't enough for Kelly Trombetis, not when breast cancer still kills thousands of women each year. That's why she raised her hand to test a groundbreaking treatment that could keep other women from dealing with the trauma of breast cancer. Chris Sodge was in the hospital room when she received the first dose of what doctors are calling a promising cancer vaccine. First thing I'm going to do is draw blood. All these needles, the blood pressure checks, and nurses looking over her. These days were supposed to be over for Kelly Trombetis because she's already beaten breast cancer. But that's an enemy that has a way of fighting back. I'm considered cancer free and cured. You know, in the back of your head, you're thinking, gosh, please, I hope it doesn't come back. But for nearly a quarter of all breast cancer patients, it does come back. Kelly hopes by volunteering to be in this office, she can beat those odds. To be that close to. Being able to prevent recurrence is awesome. Good. Yeah. What you are watching here is Kelly getting inoculated with a vaccine. I love being here because everybody's so excited about it. Because it is a vaccine that could change everything. This trial is almost a decade in the making. And it could take several more, but clinical trials like this one are now in the final phase for FDA approval for a vaccine that may one day prevent the reoccurrence of breast cancer. We will, in fact, have an approvable product if it shows to be as effective as it did in the phase two testing. Dr. George Peoples is the director of cancer vaccine development at San Antonio Military Medical Center. He says phase one was to prove it's safe, phase two proved it's effective. Now, phase three is to prove it should get FDA approval. I still some nerves. I guess so. I'm, I'm very nervous. Nervous because up to 1,000 women will take part in the crucial final phase. And the very first to get the vaccine in that phase, you're looking at her. You know, I have a passion, I really do, and, I, and you want to help people. The goal is that an approved vaccine would cut the recurring rate from 25% to around 10 or 11. If that goal is reached, the next goal would be to win the breast cancer battle once and for all. Ultimately, we would like to be able to use a breast cancer vaccine to prevent. But first things first, women like Kelly in the phase three trial will be followed and monitored for five years. That's a lot of nervous trips to the doctor's office. I'm part of this study that's going to help future people. I mean, it's because it's amazing how many people have it. But she will take every needle and every test for everybody. In San Antonio, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Now again, that trial is to approve a vaccine that would help reduce the recurrence of breast cancer in women who've already been treated. If that vaccine proves successful, doctors hope they can then begin working on a vaccine that could prevent breast cancer altogether. But something like that would still be years away.